Breaking news right now from the Pentagon, which is now confirming there is a second Chinese balloon flying over South America following multiple sightings reported over Colombia and Venezuela. Tonight, Brigadier General Pat Ryder saying, quote, we assessing it's another Chinese surveillance balloon. Meantime, a senior U.S. intelligence officer says the high altitude Chinese surveillance balloon floating across America appears to be heading toward the North Carolina coast. The U.S. military is reportedly waiting until it's over the Atlantic Ocean in U.S. waters to shoot it down, retrieve it, and study it. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Grande is here with the latest developments. It's certainly causing concern all over the country as the mysterious balloon floats over the Midwest. Now, right now, it appears to be over Kansas. Big questions. How did it get here and what's it doing? China admits it belongs to them and says it's a weather balloon. It's certainly setting off alarms in Washington as officials try to figure out what to do next. I saw, the captain saw it dive about 20,000 feet a second, and then it was below us. Pilots talking about the balloon as it flies over America. You can't tell from the ground, but it's big, about the size of three buses. Government officials say they've been tracking it. People on the ground first spotted it in the airspace over Montana. We know that it's a surveillance balloon, uh, and I'm not going to be able to be more specific than that. Uh, we do know that the balloon has violated U.S. airspace and international law. Uh, which is unacceptable. And so we've conveyed this directly to the PRC at multiple levels. Chinese officials admit it belongs to them. They claim it's a civilian airship used for meteorological research. Beijing says it deviated from its course because of wind. Experts don't buy that. There should be some degree of maneuverability. Uh, we do see it is powered by some sort of solar array, so it has power on board. Officials confirm the balloon is going over sensitive areas, Air Force bases, missile silos, and nuclear facilities. The big question is, what kind of information could it be collecting? They also may have infrared sensors to pick up on things. So they could be picking up on electronic emanations, uh, theoretically. They could be picking up on cell phone calls and all sorts of things. In Washington, the balloon has blown up into a big political issue. Secretary of State Antony Blinken canceling a planned trip to China. It's an irresponsible act and that the PRC's decision to take this action on the even by plan visit is detrimental to the substantive discussions that we were prepared to have. Some are wondering if the balloon should be shot down. Officials say that could be dangerous. There could be some hazardous material on there. If you have a solar array, you probably have lithium ion batteries and you may not want some of that hitting the ground. So for now, it will be allowed to float as officials track it. It appears the plan is to let it go out over the Atlantic Ocean and shoot it down. Officials then want to recover it to study it and figure out what it was doing. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.